Welcome back to the garage guys. In today's video, we're going to take a trip back to 2009. With that, a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, an option to use free CAD and sheet cam for creating your G code for drawing your parts, creating your G codes. Well, we finally figured this out and had a few minutes to investigate and experiment with using this process. Both of these programs are probably as old as Jackson. So they're not necessarily fun to use, but we're gonna show you the information. Uh, one thing with FreeCAD, we're not gonna show you how to draw a part. If you wanna use it, draw your own parts, that's gonna be on you. But we are gonna show you how to export the DXF file, move it into the sheet cam, and then create G code that the machine can use. Along with that, if any of you know how to do all of these steps within FreeCAD, We'd sure like to know about it. Please contact us if it can be done all inside of FreeCAD. And then we'd uh, share that information as well. A couple things to talk about. FreeCAD, well, it's free. Sheet Cam, is it free? Kind of. What do we mean by that? Well, first off, we're limited to about 180 lines of G code on the free version of Sheet Cam. Well, what can you do with 180 lines of G-code? Well, you can probably cut out something like this. That's getting to be about the max of what you can cut out in uh, the free version of Sheet Cam. Probably something like this would also work as well. Uh, one thing, circles and radiuses do take more lines of G-code than straight lines. It's just kind of the way the the way that system works. So you're limited to 180 lines. There is a paid version, and the best we can tell, it costs $140. It's not needed if you're gonna keep your limits of G-code to 180. And these, the links to the post processor will be in section five of the plans to, you'll need data post processor to your files to be able to do this. There are two post processors, one if you're using the Z-axis, and another one if you're using without the Z-axis. So make sure you install the correct one for your needs. With that, we'll turn it over. If you don't want to use Fusion, there is a second way to do all this, where you take, where you draw a part and then turn that part into G-code for your machine to read using a combination of FreeCAD and SheetCam. Now you're gonna to have to use both these rather than one, but if you don't want to update the software, you don't have to update the software at all, and you're not required to have an internet connection to be able to use said software. So depending on your situation, you might want to go this route instead. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw a part in FreeCAD and export that part as a DXF file. Now that we have Sheet Cam open, we can go to Options, Job Options, and we can create our stock size. I'm just going to go 500 millimeters, 500 millimeters. Thickness of material, since we're plasma cutting, this doesn't really matter. I'll go three millimeters. Our rapid clearance would be the same as our clearance height in fusion. So the very top height, 20 millimeters. And then our plunge safety clearance is, it kind of works differently. So we're going to retract the 20 every time. But then we're going to move down fast, 10 millimeter, so we're 10 millimeters above the stock and start moving down slower so we can get an accurate probe once we hit 10 millimeters. So we're just going to go and accept that stock size. So now that we have our stock created, we can see this in the red box. You can go to Tools, New Jet Cutting Tool. And our type is going to be Plasma. Our tool number is two, I already have a one made, but our curve width, our feed rate, pierce delay, pierce height, our plunge rate, which is our probe, how fast we're probing. We have the floating head, our cutting height, and then our lead in and lead out, our distances. So we can, we set up all this here to make the tool. I'll hit okay and now we have a new tool. And then import that DXF file we made in FreeCAD. We're gonna go to file, new part and now i'm going to import the part in metric so now i have my part here i'm going to go to operation plasma cut 
I'm going to use outside offset which would be the same thing as using left compensate or left compensation and fusion where I'm cutting outside of the outside lines and inside of the inside lines and then free cad is just like fusion it knows which is inside which is outside so layer your layer is going to be depending on how you export your DXF file just use the default one tool we're going to use tool 2 feed rate is 2000 and then you can see our lead in and lead outs and we'll hit OK and you can see the toolpath that that generated just like fusion we could see how far up and how far down we're going and where we're cutting at so now that we have our toolpath created it's time to run the post processor to turn this into G code but first, we need to make sure we have the right post processor. So we're going to go to machine post processor. And the post processor is Gerbil THC. It doesn't actually have a THC, but you need this one to be able to run a Z axis. And it's just like Fusion, we'll import the post processor. I already have it downloaded. This is the name of the post processor. It'll be included in the plans. Now that I have the right post processor selected, I'll just hit OK. And I can just run the post. Save my G code. And now the, the post processor has been completed. I have a good G code file. So you can see that Sheet Cam is pretty simple to use. There's not a whole lot to it. It's easier to use than Fusion, but you're limited to 180 lines of G code with the free version, which for this square here is probably the square and circle. You're probably looking at like 20 lines. So if you're drawing really simple parts, it's probably not the end of the world. But if you're doing more complex stuff, you're going to have to buy the full version of Sheet Cam, which is $140, I believe. And, and is that worth it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. It depends. But that option is available now. There is a post processor that works for Sheet Cam and also works on the JD's Garage Plasma Table. Well, that, guys, we sure hope that you enjoyed the trip back to 2009 and learning about these these softwares. We hope you've enjoyed or found the last two videos we have done informative uh, to be able to answer some of your questions. So video last time was about Fusion and updating your post processor and using some of the, um, or giving you a better explanation on using some of the difficult things there. And this video today, should be using FreeCAD and sheet cam stay tuned our next video coming up we'll be working on a large project that we think uh, you guys are going to really enjoy so stay tuned make sure to like and subscribe